Hello, welcome to my video, and today I'm covering the game between Tamir Nabati and Jan Shishter Duda from round 3 of European Championship. The opening was London, and the first association for London is a boring opening, but this one was not, and you'll see why. After c5 early on, e3 and knight c6, uh, white tries to go knight e2. The point of early knight e2 is to avoid lines like c3, queen b6. And in this case, queen b3 runs into c4, and if you capture, he takes back with the pawn, and now he's going to run with b5, b4, unless you play knight a3, but that leads to some sharp lines with, it, with e5. And... Uh, in case of queen c2, now bishop f5 is possible because you cannot capture on f5 because of queen b2 and next e6 and capturing the, the rook. And after queen c1, the, the queen is quite passive and uh, black is successfully blocking the center, which, uh, which is very good for black. So to avoid this, he goes first knight d2. And in case of bishop f5, he wants to go c3, after which uh, he would play queen b3 next, maybe, and uh, they would have a classical, typical London position. But instead, he doesn't choose to play bishop f5, he plays queen b6 early. And now white doesn't have time for c3, because the b2 pawn is hanging and uh, also c3 would hang. And this now leads to a very sharp uh, position. Now white takes on c5. And now if black captures on c5, then after c4... We have a totally different type of position in which black is lagging in development and the queen is quite exposed. He chose to take on b2, hoping that he would use white's uh, shattered structure, the double c pawns. Now he plays rook b1 and queen c3. He doesn't want to take the a2 pawn because it loses additional time. He wants to target the c5 pawn instead. Bishop b5 was played and now g6. Again, he doesn't want to get involved with capturing this c5 pawn too soon. He wants to develop as fast as possible. Now e4 by white. The point of this move is after black captures, bishop e5 is next. Black cannot capture on c5 because of knight e4. f6 is hanging and it's quite unpleasant. If queen d5, then knight f6 loses the queen for black. If queen b6, then the simplest I think is bishop f6 and after takes, Knight f6, king e7, knight d5, losing the queen again. So taking on c5 is really bad. And uh, he goes to a5 instead. And now the knight on f3 is attacked, but white doesn't care about it. He, ca he castles first. Uh, white, uh, black captures on f3, queen f3, and queen takes b5. Makes sense, because in this position, uh, white is a piece down. And after queen b5, if white captures on, on b5, knight e5, and... Black has three pieces for a queen, which is very, very good material balance. But after queen b5, he takes on f6 instead. Now the rook on h8 is hanging and uh, the queen is hanging, and he chose to take on f1 first. King f1 and e f6 now. Black has two bishops and the rook for a queen. You have to have in mind that uh, bishop on c8 is glued to defending the b7 pawn, the queen side of black's is uh, totally dead. No activity there. Black has to be really careful now, because if he doesn't develop on time, he can get into some trouble. White takes on f6, and now rook g8. Knight e4. Uh, now he's heading towards d6 or g5, depending on what black does. Now bishop e7 to stop this, and knight e6. And here black took, because if he doesn't take, if he goes with the king to d7 or d8, now the f7 pawn will hang and it will cause some trouble. Also, if you keep the knight on d6, the b7 pawn is under attack, it's not good for black. So here he took cd6, now the threat is very simple to go rook e1 and rook e7 next. Now rook b8, and now rook e1. Now you cannot go to d7 because of queen f7 check and losing the rook. Bishop e6, and now black threatens to go king d7, stabilize. Knight on c6 is doing quite amazing job uh, of defending the, the black's king especially the e7 square. White didn't see anything else, so he chose to take on e6, fe, and now to give perpetual check to, to black. And after king f8, because king d8 loses the rook, king f8, now they can just repeat moves. And black has to go back to f8 to defend the rook. That's how they finish the game, in a draw. And like you, like you saw, uh, London is not always boring. It can, it can be quite interesting like in this case thank you so much for watching and have a nice day bye